Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name's Tom Needham, and today I am doing Free Pascal Lazarus Tutorials. This is tutorial one, and we're going to be doing some simple programming today. I'm going to show you how to get started, and let's go. So, as you can see, the download link is just here. Links are in the description. However, to prove to you that it is, is a safe site, here you go. Here's what it comes up with. Go for the top one. That's your best bet. As soon as it's downloaded, continue this video. So, once you have started Lazarus Pascal, you'll be greeted with this screen. This is the first loaded up screen that you're going to be touched with. And we don't want to be using this one at the moment. This is for GUI applications. So we want to head over to File and New and click Program. Here we'll be given a slightly new window. And we can get rid of this object inspector here. I'm going to minimize Notepad. So, first of all, we're going to save this program because we don't want to lose any of our data. So, head over to File and Save. I've already created a folder, however, I'm going to create another one and call this one Getting Started. What this allows you to do is split your work up so none of the projects clash. It's also a case of file names, uh, the file name settings, sorry, need to be non-spaced. If you put spaces in, Lazarus Pascal will not like it at all. Once you've chosen a suitable name for your project, click Save. And now we are ready to run. Now, if we run from here, nothing's going to pop up. We're going to get a black screen and it's going to flash away just like that. So we need to enter some text. To enter some text to the screen we have to write to it. And to write to it we use a, pro a command called write line. That's write ln at the end. We need some text, so open brackets and an apostrophe. And from here we can type whatever text we like. Make sure to close the text with a, another apostrophe a close bracket and a semicolon. A semicolon in Pascal tells Pascal that it's the end of the command and it should not continue doing that command any longer. We also today need a read line in there. This will stop the computer quitting the application straight away and it will force the computer to wait for a user to press the enter key. Once we've finished writing our little program, we head over to Run and click it. From here, once it's loaded, we will see Hello World printed to the screen. To quit, click Enter, and that is it. That is our program. To make the program a little bit more user-friendly, we can have another right line in there as a spacer, and we can write a new line telling the user that they can quit by pressing the Enter key. So, press Enter to quit the program. Make sure to close apostrophes, close brackets, and put a semicolon. We can hit Run again, and as soon as it's loaded, we will find that the computer has printed Hello World and press enter to quit the program. And we were going to do that, click enter, and there you go, that's our first pro program. Save it by going file and save. It automatically saves when you click run. However, if it doesn't, you can click save here or go file and save. Right, well, I think that sums it up for tutorial one. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.